Hey everybody, Jason Jabroni, EXP Realty here. Um, just wanted to uh, give you guys an update. I found the box, my moving box with my razor. So I got a clean shave here for you guys. Uh, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about moving. I give you my top five tips on moving. One, if you never have to do it, uh, don't do it. I mean, it was terrible, <laughs> a terrible experience. I am. Uh, I talked to a lot of my clients I, before this. I mean, I looked at my house for almost 20 years and uh, I don't remember. I think I'm gun shy on the, uh, uh, on the moving process until then. So whenever I see my clients now, I'm like, hey, how come you didn't tell me? Why didn't you warn me about uh, how bad this was going to be? Uh, but uh, now I'll just give you a couple tips here, maybe help you out. Uh, some of the things that I saw. Uh, some things that I learned as I just moved into my new place, but um, yeah, number one, uh, I would highly recommend if you could afford it to pay to have it done. You know, there's services out there that, um, you know, they'll actually pack up all your stuff, move it to the next house, and then unbox everything where you want it to go. If you can afford that, I would say go for it. That's the best option for you. Um, just to give you an idea, I mean, we boxed everything ourselves and, um, you know, the quote that I got to have it, our stuff moved and we we're only moving about 10 minutes, 15 minutes away from where we were, um, you know, was that it was going to take about two days and, uh, you know, three or four trips and it was going to cost about $3,000 and I'm like, uh, I wasn't really concerned about the three grand as much as it was the time frame. I mean, we were renting out our house, so we had to get that ready, get everything out of there and kind of move into this one. So, you know, we decided to uh, to move on our own, which, you know, in hindsight, I wish we just paid for it to be done. But, um, yeah, take a take a look and get, get a couple different estimates out there for uh, the moving cost. You know, you could have it boxed, unboxed, different kind, types of services are out there available for that. Um, number two. Uh, this is probably the biggest one is preparation. Um, I would put together a supplies list of what you're going to need. A couple of things that you're going to want is some packing tape, boxes. You know, think about, uh, you know, we rented a U-Haul, like a 45-foot uh, moving truck. Uh, you want to line up enough help, uh, you know, if you have older friends or younger friends that have good backs, you might want to offer a pizza and beer to help you move. Um, my son, he's about 17 now, so I, uh, I actually paid him and his buddies, uh, I think there was like six or so, seven of them, uh, like a hundred bucks each to just, uh, you know, help, help us uh, move, and uh, that was definitely well worth it, and it was funny to watch them all uh, struggle as they lifted things as I sipped on my lemonade. No, I just kidding. I was sweating my ass off and helping out as well, but I mean, there's there's some heavy stuff there, so Think about who, how much stuff you have, how heavy that is, and uh, you know who's going to actually move it in and out, and like uh, try to figure out how you're going to pack everything into a truck. Uh, that's important as well. Um, so besides help, another couple things that you want to look at planning is uh, your utility transfer. With EXP, we have a uh, white glove concierge called uh, uh, Moving Hub. Uh, but basically what that will do is they'll transfer the utilities in your name. You got to change your mailing address from your old address to the new address with the post office. That service kind of does all that for free. Or you can call your utility companies and say, hey, look, at, I'm planning on moving August 1st. I need you to transfer the utilities in uh, my name for that date. Uh, you always want to transfer the utilities. You don't want to activate them. Um, when you transfer them, a lot of the times they won't charge you an activation fee. Uh, sometimes for each one, it could be like 35 to 50 bucks, depending on uh, which utility. So you just definitely want to make sure, uh, you know, get that transferred and not activate it. Because, uh, you know, when, when you close on that house, uh, a lot of times they'll just shut off all the utilities. And then, you know, you're starting from scratch and you have to pay those activation fees. Um, besides utilities, um, I would look into preparing for, uh, you know, when is garbage pickup? What about recycling? How does that all work? What day do they pick it up? What time do we have to have it out? Sunday night for Monday morning pickup? That kind of thing. A couple of things that you just want to prepare for there. Um, tip number three, um, when you do box up all your stuff, one of the 
best pieces of advice that I can possibly give you in this video is label them as thoroughly and detailed as possible. Don't just put like bathroom, you know, you want to put like, okay, you know, bathroom, uh, soaps, towels, you know, toothpaste, whatever is going to be in that box, you want to know exactly what's in there. So you're not trying to do like a search and rescue mission when you, when you uh, find stuff. That's one of the biggest mistakes that we made. I mean, we have boxes here that are just labeled very vaguely and they'll probably sit in the box in the garage for the rest of my life because I definitely don't plan on going into them, but, uh, you know, uh, label them as detailed as possible. Um, step number four, tip number four, uh, throw stuff out. I mean, when you're moving or, you know, uh, getting ready to move, all that extra stuff that you don't need, donate it to charity, uh, sell it on Facebook, you know, Craigslist, all those eBay, whatever you want to sell. I mean, think about like some of the bigger ticket items, especially if you're moving far, you know, selling like the appliances, the, uh, the uh, washer and dryer, uh, you know, your furniture and buy new stuff when you get down to uh, the new location. I mean, a lot of that stuff takes up a lot of room in uh, the moving truck. And, you know, it's, you know, an extra trip on a moving truck is going to cost you probably more than some of these uh, items are worth. So think about donating and stuff, Goodwill, all those extra clothes that you don't need, you know, furniture that you don't want that, uh, you know, other people that, you know, are in need could use. Uh, definitely throw it out or donate it or sell it, make some money and then buy it when you get to the new place. Um, and then tip number five, this one is huge as well. So after you thoroughly label where things, what are in each box, think about uh, your new house and all the rooms in there and try to figure out ahead of time where they're gonna go. One thing that you don't wanna do is have the moving guys just drop everything off and then now you're trying to figure out where the heck it's gotta go. You know, so I would probably label it a bathroom, you know, here's everything that's in that box. And then I would say, you know, label it again and say upstairs bathroom or downstairs bathroom or master bathroom, wherever you want those items to go, plan ahead of time, label the heck out of it. So then that way it's just going to make everything so much easier. The worst thing that you could have, and we're going through it now is just kind of figuring out like, where the hell is that? <laughs> and then you're have 50 boxes there. They're all labeled like crap and uh you know you're trying to search through each one and try to figure out what the heck is going on with them um so that's my top five moving tips for you um a bonus tip if you do need help moving jason Jamoni realty team you know we're here to help we're with exp realty um check out our reviews online i mean we've never had a bad customer unsatisfied client yet more than happy to help you guys out definitely help you out with the moving process um and here to help you every step of the way so uh hit us up facebook we're on all the socials uh if you need anything we're here to help and uh hopefully this video is helpful to you and uh i wish i saw it before i stopped moving uh definitely would have been awesome well have a great day see you soon